<laughs> the first one you picked. And it's a funny story that one too. You know, the, the boys at home will, will remember that goal. I'll say seven, day. seven. Day. To make up for the. <laughs> you know, Michael Murphy gave himself sixty-five this year. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Conan Doherty for Sports Joe. This is Screenshot. This, of course, is Leo McLoon. So do you know what happens here? This is, so this is Screenshot. This is a pile of pictures of you. You can pick whatever order you want. So it's basically, this interview is all down to you. If it's going to be good or bad, it's on you. So I've got nothing to blame here. So you can pick whatever one you want to start it off with. Right, I'll pick this one. Oh, Jesus, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the first one you pick. So this is the Glenties boys. Let me put it down there. Have a look. This is uh, the club team. Aye, uh, that's us in um, in Valley Shannon. All right, in the hydro pool there. It's probably the Monday, the Monday after the 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 second county final. Yeah. Uh, so it was a bank holiday Monday, and um, I think we were in the sea a few times, and we were in the hydro pool. But a physio, so it was a busy day because we were out the Wednesday after that. Oh yeah, that was right. So we were out two or three days later, so there was a lot of recovery going on and uh, it, was, it was cold air, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you must have done a pile of this then between Wednesday and the Saturday was the next game, the Ulster game then? No, there was, there was a lot of <laughs> It was tougher and then, it was, well, we done uh, Wednesday night and Thursday, it was a bit tougher now, but maybe Friday we started to, to look at yeah. a bit of that type of recovery, <laughs> yeah. so uh, yeah. So what do you like? I don't want to say do you believe in this sort of stuff, but is this something that's good for your mind as well? Like, to, like even more so even physically? Ah, exactly. Like, I suppose it's different for different people. Like, mm. and some people find it very good, and others don't. Like, and I suppose it's how how you find it yourself. But, I, like, I felt that we'd done great recovery on Monday. Like, we were, as I say, we're in that, that twice, and we're in the sea as well. And you know, so. Like it, it seemed to help us, whether as you said it was a mental thing or not, but we seem to seem to be a bit fresher after it. Like. Yeah. Right, well let's pick the next one. Hopefully it won't be as bad as that <laughs> for you. Go ahead. Ah, there we go. Right. A lovely one, 2012. Like that's what dreams are made of, right? Aye. I suppose looking back on it now at the time, really, a lot of the time when you win things, um, you don't appreciate them as much, like when um, you know when the thing is, is going along. But I think when you look back and you reflect on it, and as you get older, especially, you you start to appreciate times like that and realise how lucky you are to, to actually win an All Ireland medal. Like. Yeah. And um, you know a lot of good players throughout the country have, have played for the county teams and, and haven't got a medal, but and just uh, delighted to be to be involved in that team and have won won, won it that year. You've won like. Everywhere you've gone, basically, like you know, so you were involved with Glenties when they won the first, or Neve Connell when they won their first Donegal Championship 2005, and you've won it three times since. Do you know? And like with Donegal, obviously under McGuinness, you won three times in Ulster, you won twice more with Declan Bonner. Then you won this with Donegal. Yes, yeah, was speaking to the boys earlier. There, been lucky to be especially involved with Donegal in a time where you know they had a lot of success. Yeah. Um, and it's it's you know I'm very lucky to have won you know a lot of the medals and the cups that I have. And um, as I say, as you get older, you start to appreciate that a bit yeah. more. You know, as as the ends in sight <laughs> <Yeah>. and <laughs> retirement's living, but like you know, you, you do really appreciate. And I think as the years go on, we'll even appreciate all the things that we've won even more. You know? Did you ever think that you would get to that stage? I know it's a dream for everybody, but did uh, you actually ever picture it? I no, I suppose you, you picture it all the time, but mm. at the same time, you never think you're actually going to get there. Like it's supposed to skin like a fairy tale, really, and and. You know, it's every young boy's dream, really, to, to lift Sam Maguire Cup like in All Ireland Day. So, um, you know, you dream about it, really. But um, when it when when your dreams come through, it's it's special now, all right. Yeah. Really. All right, that was a good one. Let's pick another one. <laughs> Go ahead. Ooh, buried in there. <laughs> you know them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, here this isn't a ah, picture of you. Right. So this is Seamus Coleman. So I remember doing a piece with him down in uh, Killy Beggs, and they were talking about. You were destroying him in a minor game, uh, full forward. I think you were playing, and they, they uh, put him back to Marky. Do you remember? I remember game? the game. All right, I. Um, 2006 was it? 2006. I, I Kelly Beggs had, a, had an excellent team that time, and I think um, after that, um, probably yeah, just literally after that, uh, Seamus Coleman was called into the to the Donegal minor panel, 
and I remember at the time he came to one or two sessions and he was unsure of what route to take, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And um, he, uh, he, he went to Sligo then, just literally, that was a deciding factor. He took two sessions, I think, with the Donegal Miners, then went to, um, to Sligo mm. and <laughs> the rest is history for him, yeah. like really. Uh, he was a great Gaelic player also, but a really good fella, I remember he he had the determination to, to go all the yeah. way, like, and there's no better man, like, of, of uh, great respect for Shane. Yeah. You know? And do you remember much of him working you? What, what, was, it, was he sledging you or anything like no, that? Was no, no, that, that was one thing with him, <laughs> hey, that, he was just pure football, like, right. in all yeah. fairness to him. And, um, no, he, he would have always had good respect in, in my hometown, like, really. But um, we do have, like, they bet us in the county mi and the mm. minor title last year. It was a good Kelly Beggs team, but, you know, like, we always have, you know, disappointment around it. Yeah. You know, but no, it was, it was a tight game, and um, look, he went on to make a great career, and he deserved it, really. Yeah, great stuff. This is a mixed bag. You're going from a high <laughs> pool to <laughs> lifting sand <laughs> to bad memories of Kelly Beggs. Uh, so go ahead, next one. Oh, here we go. So I think it's 2006 as well. This is the yeah. minor Ulster final against Antrim. That's right, Di. Um, I think it was the year the Ulster final was held in Crow Park. Oh, right. I, I think it was the first and maybe maybe it was two years it was held in Crow Park. That's the time Donegal upset the Applecourt because they thought it was going to be Tyrone Armagh. Is That's that right, yeah. yeah. But now well, we won the minor title that year and I don't think the seniors won it though. And I'm not sure. No, yeah, you're right. I know mm. six, but I there's a young Michael Murphy there too. Um, we've been I was looking at the picture. Me and Michael have been together since under 15s, and um, we've had a long spell together. And thankfully, as I said a while ago, you know we've had a lot of success. Mm. You know, a lot of players have gone gone the same distance without as, as much success. So no, that's kind of where it all started. All right. Um, what, what was Michael like back then? Like you can even see, he's still got the, like you, you've developed physically every year, I think. And like, look at him with his big tree trunk legs at, at minor level already. Yeah. Like, was he something special back then too? Ah, uh, he was. I think, like, we always knew he was going to, he was going to be an excellent player. Like, everyone knew that. But um, I think it was his drive more so than his drive and determination to, to make it big was, was kind of what shone through, you know, and, and those games and, and the years to follow it, like, really, but, um, no, excellent man, you know. Yeah, all right, motoring along nicely, next one. Ah, that's ah, a nice yes, one. Uh, <laughs> so this is from the Donegal Democrat, and yeah. um, this is after you made your 100th appearance for Donegal. That's right, I, um, so the, the school got me good that day. Um, <laughs> They told me we were going downtown to, to talk to somebody about um, careers with the kids that I work with. Yeah. And of course I walked in and there was about 10 or 20 of the, <laughs> the gang from, from um, the unit I work in. And um, it, was, it was lovely. It was, um, I really appreciated it, you know, and it was nice that it was with all the kids that I teach, like, um, and I suppose on, you know, to, to market as well, yeah. on, on their games, like, you know. Do you like being a teacher? Is, it, is Abby, is it, that you teach? Abby Vocational School, yeah. I, no, I love it, hey, in fairness, working with um, the different, the different kids, hey, and um, I suppose there's a sense of um, achievement with it too, when you, when you see them develop and, and yeah. you know, get through the school system, because it's not always that easy. Yeah, really, of you know? course, yeah. And how does it sit with you that you're, you are a Donegal legend, like you've made over 100 caps here and like a small company there. I don't know about the, the legend part now, but um, no, it's, it's, um, it's great supposed to, as I say, you know, playing the 100 games, but having the success that, that we had too, like mm. throughout, throughout that there, um, it's just it's, it's something, you know, that'll stay with you like for, for yeah. your days to come. Yeah. Good stuff, Leo. Do you think we're going to go through all of them here? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else is in store. Oh, I. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> but like, you, you didn't play that day against Derry, so I was trying to figure out, were you pissed off there? <laughs> or were you just tears of emotion? I, I think I'm not quite sure myself. I think I wasn't... That was against Derry. Mm. I think I came on all right, and I was a bit... Um, not pissed off with McGuinness, but I think I, I kind of played bad myself. Right. Maybe it was Tyrone, was it? No, it was definitely Derry, Derry Leo, I'll tell it? you that, yeah. Aye. <laughs> it was our only Ulster final since uh, 2000. Aye. We haven't been back since, thanks for Oh, that. yes, that's right. I remember <laughs> now. <laughs> 
And like, um, do you remember what he was saying to you afterwards or anything? No, not. I think it was going to keep your head up now and then drive on, you know, the usual. Yeah. And it's like, but um, I, I think that was it, like, keep the head up and, and keep going. I'd say he's a good man to get in between the ears in, in a good way. Like, I remember reading that book with Kevin Cassidy, he was talking about, you know, the dark room and, you know, McGinnis yeah. walking around and getting inside the heads sort of Aye. positively. Aye. Ah, oh, he's the kind of man he would, as I say, would sell sand at Arabs. Like, really? he'd just convince you of anything, really. Like, and you would maybe come into a room with one view and you would leave with a totally different view and wonder what happened there. Like, you know, so he really, I suppose, he, he changed our beliefs, really, and, and, and all the players to. You know, believe in that we could win something. Yeah. And lucky to have the success we did, really. I remember McGuinness's book, Until Victory Always. Was it Was the beach in uh, Dunfanaghy, yeah. maybe, or something? D uh, Downing. Downing, sorry, yeah. And, and he, he, he spoke about that time he pulled his in and said, You're going to be <laughs> Ulster champions. Do you remember uh, that? Oh, I remember it well. I, <laughs> we were taking the piss out of him afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, I remember it well. Like, and um, I think he, he talked about a contract. That day too, we're going to sign a contract and we're going to stick to it. And then he, he actually made us sign contracts that day, so we all had to line up. And I remember one of the boys, uh, we would have had a good run previous, the 2010 or last Ulster final. Yeah. So with a guy called Johnny Boner, like, and yeah. Johnny's like a, a farmer from Fintown, like, and he didn't quite, he wasn't sure why he was signing this. And he wasn't sure if he was going to join the panel or not anyway. So <laughs> he, he said to me, I'm not fucking signing that, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember he wouldn't sign it, but we all signed. But I don't think the contracts came to anything in the end. Right, really, yeah. But it was just kind of probably to get in your head. Yeah. And then, and, and, you know, get it sinking in that you're going to yeah. you know, do what's needed. That's one of those classic, you know, if, if nobody wants to be part of this, they can leave now. And then you just hear a wee chair in the back of the room <laughs> just leaving because they don't want to be part of it. That was it, I, pretty <laughs> yeah. much, exactly. And tell me, so are, you, are you a religious man? I just noticed that cross around your neck as well. I would, would be religious, yeah. all right, definitely. Now, uh, um, so we've got a uh, uh, county man from, from your own neck of the woods, Tony Scullion, mm. would have talked with Tony when he was younger. And um, he always talked about, um, like, it never done him any harm to be religious yeah. anyway. Like, you know, whatever the case was, that it, it never done any harm. And it, it, you know, it was something that he believed in. And it was just kind of stuck with me, all right, that wearing a cross or whatever it may be, a scapula, that um, it'll not do you any harm. That's a, yeah, that's it a might great help you someday. Yeah, that's a great way of looking. It might help you with these last two as well. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll need a miracle here, I think. It was going to be. Oh, well, here we go. So this is our uh, man. Yeah, yeah. You getting the shit kicked out of you by the looks of things. Like <laughs> Finn dropped a knee on you. But what I liked about this, Ryan McHugh, the little hero in here. <laughs> he's the only man that's come to your rescue. You can't even see him there. <laughs> uh, aye, that's right. That was 14. And that, that was, I think a lot of people remember the day the doctor got flattened. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Dr. Kevin Moore and got pushed. It was actually, I think it was Finn in there, and Renee that done it. Um, <laughs> But I, uh, we, we went into that game, we kind of, we hadn't played well well that day, so we didn't, um, 2014, but we, we just got lucky to get out the other side. I think uh, mm. our mal were very hungry that day, and yeah. they were coming a lot of intensity, but, and a lot of physicality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. So, um, no, we, we got out the other end, but I suppose it's familiar sight there, all right, just <laughs> but a Ulster yeah. football, really. I know, I think we're actually going from bad memories to one final decent memory, but it right. might be bad as well, so we're working memories. Yeah, I do. So this is the 2010 All-Ireland Under-21 final. That's right, And aye. you're reading away after scoring the goal in Cavan. I. <laughs> It is, a, it is a funny story, that one too, you know, the, the boys at home will, will remember that goal. Um, I was actually... It was a big odds to get first goal that day. Oh, really? All the, the boys from Glenties uh, had me done first goal score. <laughs> so I don't know, I think it was roughly around 20 to 1 or something oh, like wow, that. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And they had all had it all on because they knew I was starting full forward on the day. Like, you that's know. Class. So uh, yeah. <laughs> they, they often talk about it, about how they cheered in the stand for about five or ten minutes after the goal and all the Donegal people were like, all right, it's over now. Yeah, yeah. Like, We've lost the match. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they, they made a night of it then on, on my back, like after getting the goal, they got plenty of money. And I remember they headed back to Donegal Town and had a great night, all right. Uh, that's <laughs> class. And do you, do you remember much of Michael Murphy's penalty in stoppage time? These are two points down. 
could have won I, the, the I do, I remember it, surely. As you see, the crossbar was flat that day. Yeah. And um, whatever way I can remember, it had the crossbar, it went straight up into the air. And I remember chasing it in, but uh, I think there was a double man there, there before me. Yeah. So, um, no, it was, uh, I suppose it was a time where, you know, it was tough to, to take defeat, but then you, you see, you know, what it set us up for in years to come, like, and especially Michael, you know, that you know, he went on to lead Donegal, like, yeah. after maybe adversity like that there, you know, so it showed a lot about him. And, I suppose it's set us up for the future, really. Yeah, and I suppose all the other victories have helped you sort of get over that now, you know. Like, you know, ah, exactly. you've won so much since then. Definitely, mm. 100%. Great stuff, Leo. I've got one final surprise for you. <laughs> so this is the screenshot ultimate team card. Right. So what I want you to do is there's blank space there beside pace, shooting, passing, skill, defending <laughs> and physicality. And I just want you to give yourself a mark out of 100 for each. And it'll be forever inscribed on your <laughs> ultimate team card. I'll buy this now. So you go ahead. Well, I'll pace now as the boys at home. I'll, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'll go maybe 30 here. 30 out of 100? Uh, <laughs> pace is not oh, my favorite. Jesus, come on. <laughs> I thought you were a big horse of a man. Like, you know, Aye, exactly. But no, but once you get going, it's just uh, like... I know, it's getting the speed up hey, <laughs> when you're my way, too. I think you're being very harsh on yourself. Then. Um, shooting? Shooting. Um, I'll give that maybe. I know one of the county finals there had a few wides, but I'm not too bad. Yeah. I'll say 70. 70. To make up for the. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Michael Murphy gave himself 65 and shooting. <laughs> nah, <we're laughs> <pretty sugar. laughs> I better go down and pass again then. Passing. Passing. I'll say. We'll say 65 then. <laughs> You're being very, very modest here. Go ahead. Skill. Skill. Um, see, you give me no hand to work off here. <laughs> <laughs> Skill, um, we'll see. Now remember, it all counts. Do you remember that last game there for Neve Connolly? You're in the corner holding the boys <laughs> off. That is that skill? Well, I think it is. Uh, that's seeing things in slow motion. Right, uh, we'll see. Seven big game then. Yep. What's this? Defending. Defending. Mm. <laughs> I hope you don't centre half forward here, hope you don't mind that. That's uh, where I yeah. prefer you to be. Well, but. that's good enough for me. I'll say 60 here. 60? And uh, physicality. I uh, will we'll say 80 there. 80. She's asked me. Good man. <laughs> That's lovely stuff. I think you've been very harsh with the, the pace and the passing. Ah, well, maybe so, but uh, well, to be taking a hand on the other before yeah. I do. <laughs> I, I know. Well, I actually had a bet on that you would do more than, than that in pace. So, well, thanks very much, yeah. Good man. Hey. Yeah, no bother. Great right. stuff, Liam. Right, thank you. That was brilliant.